Hi friends, I am Prakash. Today we are going to discuss uh, some of the interview questions asked in the various uh, companies. So we are going to discuss them. So I have uh, 10 questions here. First I will discuss uh, one by one. The first question here is, what is web driver? So when, you, when anyone asks you regarding web driver, so what you have to answer what is a selenium web driver you can say oh selenium okay what is a selenium web driver so selenium web driver is a tool automation tool which is used to write scripts in different languages programming languages and execute them on different browsers okay selenium web driver is an automation tool where we write script in different languages what are they java python perl okay c sharp like this we have different languages so whenever uh, this question is asked what is selenium web driver so you have to answer like selenium web driver is an automation tool which is used to write your scripts in different programming languages and execute on different machines and we can communicate each and every browser directly by using different browsers again web driver contains different browser interfaces okay so firefox driver chrome driver all these things you can explain when when they ask what is selenium web driver then the second question here is what are the advantages of selenium 2 so first you have to know what is selenium 2 I am telling Selenium 2 in the sense there is Selenium 1, right? So you have to differentiate that. So Selenium 2 is nothing but Selenium web driver. So what are the advantages of Selenium web driver? It is easy to communicate with your browser directly without any interface or mediator. Okay. And you can run your script on any other any machines okay and you can write your scripts in different programming languages you can generate reports okay you can take screenshot all these things you can tell rather than selenium 1 okay so this is these are the advantages of selenium 2 so it's a freeware first it's a selenium tool okay like this you can tell all these things when they ask for advantages of selenium 2 selenium 2 is nothing but selenium web driver okay so the next question here is difference between selenium 1 and selenium 2 so selenium 1.0 is nothing but selenium rc and selenium 2 is selenium web driver so the differences between selenium 1 and selenium 2 are selenium rc requires mediator to communicate your browser but whereas selenium 2 doesn't require any mediator to communicate your browser and the other important thing is it is selenium very uh, selenium 1 is a bit slow in execution but whereas selenium 2 is faster than selenium 1 in execution okay because there is a mediator and there is no mediator here okay and the other thing is coding you can say the coding is very simple and uh, you know uh, we can exclude the redundancy of uh, coding all these things in selenium 2 compared to selenium 1 and selenium rc will not support all the browsers but whereas selenium 2 supports all the browsers for example selenium 1 will not support html unit driver and selenium 2 will support html unit driver whereas where is uh, there is no ui interface for selenium html unit driver okay then coming to uh, fourth one fourth question here what are the locators are there in selenium 2 what are the different locators locator is nothing but you are locating a web element by using some xml path right so in the xml path so what are the locators by using id and by using class name by using css selector by using link text by using partial link text okay and by using x path okay by using class name so what are the different locators in selenium 2 2 is nothing but web driver right so they are one is by id and the second one is by name okay and by class name 
by link text by partial link text by xpath and by css selector these are the different types of locators in selenium web driver or selenium 2 okay the fourth question fifth question here is how to handle ajax application in web driver so ajax application asynchronous java and xml so whenever you perform some action particular part of the program will execute in that, that means page entire page will not load right so that we call as ajax application we can say an example of contain a page containing some drop downs so first drop down is state you can say states and the second drop down is cities and third drop down is some villages or something you can select whenever you select any particular state then only the respective cities will be displayed so this is called ajax right so this will be handled by web driver by using select commands so action we have uh, drop down things right so we have select class by, by using that select class we can handle these drop downs so we call them as ajax classes i have given some best some, some best example here so whenever you select a state for suppose if i select any andhra pradesh or telangana state so respective districts will be listed in the cities drop down so if i select telangana and uh, selected some andhra pradesh district it will not be applied so this is what the ajax call here ajax is nothing but asynchronous java and xml so these applications will be easily handled by using web driver now the sixth question here is how to handle multiple windows in web driver so how to handle multiple windows multiple windows are applied when when you click any link from the current page so new page will be opened that we call as a new window from the parent window we call it as parent and child so whenever you are you want to handle this multiple windows we have get window handle so whenever you use get ha window handle it it will be it will get the windows properties to the element where, wherever you want to save so you can you can take a string element and save your current uh, window window or handle your win current window by using get window handle so if you want to handle or if you want to move focus to the new window so you have to use get window handles so there are two commands one is get window handle and the other one is get window handles so first save your current thing in a get window handle and save the rest remaining new windows properties in by using get window handles so these are the two items we can use and we can move our focus web driver focus to new windows so what are the get window handle and get window handles so now the seventh question here is the difference between find element and find elements so when we use this find element and when we use find elements so find element will be used to find a single element so if you want to locate a particular element or single element so you have to use find elements so find elements will be used to find or locate group of elements or list of elements so whenever you are using find elements so this will be saved in a list variable so you will be getting list of elements and you can i means by using the same locator if you are having some same locators or same locator name for suppose you are saving some div i have a div tag so there are many div tags in my things right i want to get all the div tags so i'll put find elements i will use find elements command so that i will get all div tags in my page okay so now this is the main difference between find element and find elements so find element will be used only for finding a single element find elements will be used for locating many or multiple elements or list of elements okay so now how to handle alerts in a web driver so to handle alerts we have driver dot switch to dot alert dot x so whenever you click accept that will be accepted whenever you click alert dot get text you will be getting that alert text if you want to get the alert text you have to use driver i will show you by opening eclipse so so to handle alerts we are having a switch to method we are using switch to method okay 
so we can use those switch to method to handle alerts okay so whenever you use switch to method switch to dot alert i'll show you here so i am having my projects here package so alert handle class here so how to handle alert so here i have driver dot switch to whenever i get alert you have to use this accept so that it will click ok on your alert box if you want to get that alert text you have to use alert dot get text okay so this is what handling alerts in your using your web driver okay then how to take screenshots in selenium so how to take screenshot in selenium 2 so to take screenshot we are having take screenshot method i'll show you that one as well so to take screenshots i'll be having screenshot test class i think uh, take screenshot of driver okay and get screenshot as I'll be having in the other class I think I'll check that one yes here I have how to take screenshot you have to use file class here and create a variable for that a class okay this is source okay file files src i mentioned so to take screenshot you, you are having take screenshot method so once you mentioned take screenshot you have to call your driver here driver then dot get screenshot as output type as a file so whenever you use this you will be getting that file here in the src so if you want to save that you have to use file details dot copy file so file utils dot copy file will copy your file file is src and where you are copying this is the location new file of i am providing this location so i am saving this in c drive and screenshots folder okay as a screenshot one so like this we can take screenshots using web driver so next tell me about web driver architecture okay tell me about web driver architecture this is one question asked in the previous interviews so what is a web driver architecture here web driver is a simple architecture that is script i'll show you web driver architecture is your script will directly communicate with your browser so web driver script will communicate directly with your browser so there is no mediator so if whenever you are saying web driver architecture script and browser you have to mention so i'll show you some example screenshot here So whenever you want to use web driver it is just simple thing i can draw here itself so i don't have internet now so we'll see later so web driver architecture is very simple your script directly communicates with your browser that is a web driver architecture no other mediator between your script and your browser so it, di it interacts di browser directly right so that is web driver architecture so whenever they uh, anyone asked web driver architecture you have to tell a script and a browser there is no mediator between your script and your browser so your script will directly interact with your browser by using web driver 